from the station that's got you covered. This is Good Day Tampa Bay. Helping you get your day started. This is Good Day Tampa Bay. It's uh, 846. What if you were to find out that whatever you want in your life you could accomplish with the tools that you already have? Your dreams don't rely on fate, luck, potential, even education. It is the magical 12 tools that have been given to all of us. Dr. Ja Chad Helmsetter is the author of The Gift. He's appeared on Oprah and many other programs, and he joins us this morning. The Gift, by the way, are those 12 tools for personal growth that you're talking about. Good to see you. Good to be here. It's a great book. I read it over the weekend, and uh, it's, it's very interesting. Now, you were in town for a speaking engagement, and you said the people you were speaking to have been reading The Gift. Hundreds of people in the audience. Um, they're with an organization, uh, they're skin care consultants with Arban International. Which you and, talk a lot about in this book. And I, I use them as an example of an organization or a company that actually applies the gifts of personal growth. And to meet people who are actually doing it yeah. is just phenomenal. They're, they're changing not only their business lives, but their regular lives. And they're not doing it by accident. They're following some very specific tools or gifts they're using things that we've learned over the years I just put them together in one book well, 12 gifts 12 tools we're talking about here choice believing in yourself attitude goal setting among them now you say we're each born with these tools these gifts we were born with the potential to do pretty much anything it's like we're born with a with a uh, a clean CD-ROM yeah and it's empty and then it starts to get filled up with stuff and uh, and that becomes our programming and so I talk about how to get rid of the bad programming and and replace it with the right kinds of tools and those tools are the gifts and I think the ultimate gift is the gift of yourself getting back to who you were born to be in the first place as I read this over the weekend I, I was struck by and, and I mean this in the most complimentary of ways the simplicity yeah. of it. Yes. There, this, yeah. there's, there's nothing really complicated here. It's things that once you read it, you start thinking about it, and you go, well, that makes perfect sense. I think the biggest, th there are two things. One is, over 30 years of working in this field and writing, I found that if it isn't simple, it doesn't work yeah. because we're, we're too busy. So it's got to be simple. If it's a personal growth tool, it has to be simple. And secondly, um, the biggest problem with self-help is, is the word self. It, it, to have help, to have a support system, to have people around you that are going for it or that uh, believe in you, uh, that are positive, uh, that's a major, major key. And in, in the 80s and 90s, we kind of missed that. It was all self-help. Right. Now, you talk about Airbind, which I, as I've read about it the, in the book, it's, it seems to be an amazing, nurturing, supportive work environment. But what if you're not in that kind of situation? And you talk about that, too. You just have to learn to n shut out all of the bad stuff. It, you, it, th there's a thing called self-talk that yeah. will help you change old programs and get rid of negatives and, and more or less ignore the negatives that come in from around you. But it's still a, a, an important concept to make sure who, who's surrounding you. You're going to become most like the people that you spend most of your time with, which is kind of scary. Well, you yeah, and it, well, and which, which again makes sense, but what do you say to someone who's in a work environment where it's not a healthy, loving, and nurturing environment? Can you, how do you overcome that short of changing jobs? Short of changing, well, if, if you get the right kind of self-talk, which is changing programs, if you, if you begin to use some tools like setting goals, uh, surrounding yourself with other people who are more positive, um, and uh, learning some steps to believe in yourself, at least the other, what I call the negatroids around you, are going to have less effect on you. The book is called The Gift. It's written by, uh, by Shad Helmstetter, and thank you. It's, it, I mean, thank you for being here, and thanks for the book, because I, I took a lot away from this, so we, we appreciate yeah, it very thank much. Thank you. Enjoy nice it. Nice to meet you. Have a safe trip back to uh, home, northern Florida. That's right. right. Take care. Well, he is uh, barely old enough to vote, but he's already made his first million. Maybe he read the gift. Find out how. We'll be back soon.